So Rochdale 13 with Alan Kilshaw ahead of uh, this weekend's clash with Toulouse. Uh, first off, I just want to touch on the London game. Uh, if you had any further look at it and, and any further thoughts? Yeah, just basically what what we we said on the day. Our completions are really good. We were at you know 88 percent completions, and I thought we, we we followed the game plan for um, you know 60 65 minutes. But you know the the, the, the volume of defending we did. You know we count some you know some dropouts. We penalty count against probably just went against us in that last you know 15 minutes and you know now we need to you know develop what we're doing with the, with the ball we've got them completions up now we're not making those or we hadn't made those errors on on, 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 on Sunday enough we've turned the corner on that but now we need to challenge a bit more with the ball and obviously we've got to give ourselves energy to do that um, and that's you know, um, you know trying to trying to limit their field position with penalties and, and obviously dropouts will come off the back of good field position so some little areas like that but, but that we need to tidy up but it was, it was a positive performance you know, you know London are a tough side they're a full time side like we said and they made the, the qualifiers last year and they've got some good players and but it was disappointing that it blew out in the end because I, I thought it didn't reflect the, you know, the, the tightness of the game. And at 10-8, we, we had a great opportunity when Lewis broke through. We just got to stay a bit more composed um, and, and have a bit more you know, killer instinct, you know, especially when we got the ball. I think we did have opportunities to, to post more points and, and we didn't. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, it went against us in the end. But plenty of positives to take away from it and plenty of areas that we need to improve as well. You made it pretty clear that you were disappointed with the pen count on the day. Um, and you've this week's referee will be Phil Bentham. Is that something that you're, you're happy with? Yeah, look, uh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was um, a bit angry and disappointed after the game, and um, obviously, probably comments reflected that. And look at you know, all three officials have got a tough job, and, and don't ever ever get me wrong. And, 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 and I, I always think that, and, and it's tough for them, and our lads make errors, and they make errors. But I was just disappointed that you know some some of the decisions that went against us, and some of the consistencies, um, and it, it's a knock-on effect from from the last few weeks. And um, you know, Steve's done some stats on it this week, and we are the most penalised side in the competition. We've been penalised 70 times in seven games, and we've only won one penalty count, and that was round one when we had Ben Failer. Um, so look, we're happy to have uh, a Super League ref this week. And, I spoke to the referees coach on Monday and just to seek some clarity on a, on a few areas and just awaiting you know that feedback and hopefully that'll come. We also spoke about having a strong referee for this week and um, you know you know we've got that in, in Phil and um, you know hopefully we can improve our discipline as well because you know we are aggressive side and sometimes we, we, we do go over the line and if we do we deserve to be punished for that and we've got a, we've got good discipline wise but just consistency in some areas offsides and. and infringements where, like I said on the day, I feel that we're pretty easily uh, an easy team to get penalised around there, where other teams that we've played against, I feel it's been a little bit inconsistent, but uh, hopefully we can draw a line under that and, and move forward this week and um, you know not have a, a high penalty count against us. You mentioned your defence on the day as well, and, and as you just said, that the score blew out a bit due to fatigue at, at the end. Have you been working on trying to level up your attack to your defence because your defence was really impressive at times when you were defending your own line at London? Yeah, look, you know, it's funny because we did let 28 points in and we've gone 26, 26, 28 and other, you know, other than the whole KR game we've been pretty good defensively. Even, you know, we got beat by Halifax and um, we only conceded maybe two tries that day and a couple of penalties. You know, we've been to Featherstone and held them to, to nine points and Bradford to 14 and obviously with Neil Dewsbury as well, so our defence has, hasn't been you know, too much of an issue. I think when the ground's firm up and it, and it, and it dries up, you, know, you will get bigger score lines because people are adapting to that and you know, it was a fast track last week, but generally our defence was good last week and I think with the volume of defending we did do, we scrambled for each other and look, I was really proud of them, they're a team and, and, and they, they are united and yeah, we're still focused on our defence, but we have we have done a bit more work on our attack this week because you know it's light nights now. We're on a field, you know, training, and I expect our um, attack to accelerate in the next few weeks. Um, um, just to be putting on some more plays and challenging teams a lot better, you know, in our good ball sets, especially in our last plays and our set finishes, and that that's a big focus for us this weekend. And this week you've got to lose, as we mentioned. Um, are you looking forward to the rivalry that comes with it? It seems to have blossomed since that first game when we played here, back 
in last season? Yeah, look, you know, I suppose that last year they were our promotion rivals and, and we went at them and, and they went at us and, you know, it was a ding-dong game here and then, you know, that sort of set the platform for the, for the rest of the season and we were building a cup when we went there the first time and to go there and, and win a trophy in their backyard, I'm sure that'll be something that they've mentioned this week. For us, you know, that rivalry is there and, it, and if people need that extra motivation, then I'm sure they'll get it this weekend and, and you know, maybe there'll be a few neutrals come as well because one thing they are is that they're good games, you know, the three games last season and they're all good games, you know, especially the final and especially the, the game here, so um, it'd be a good one for the neutral, I'm sure. And in that game and in other games that we've, we've played with Toulouse, there's been some underhand tactics, would you say, um, a few poor lifting tackles and, and I remember there was a biting incident at, at Spotland last season. Is that something that you worry of going into the game? Are you concerned about that? Oh, look, there's always a concern, but I suppose, you know, with a very good referee, which we have on the weekend, you know, they're probably not going to be able to get away with some of the behaviour that they got away with last season. Um, and, you know, looking at them, they seem to tighten their discipline up, um, you know, in, 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 in those areas, lifting tackles and, and, and some of those unsavoury things. Um, hopefully, you know, we won't see that on the weekend. Um, but, you know, we're an aggressive side, they're an aggressive side, they're going to come at us, we're going to go at them, we're ready to rumble. I'm sure they are, so we know what we know, we know what to expect. Um, what about my guys? Um, to, to be disciplined and, and show you know smart aggression and the right level of aggression, and uh, I'm sure to lose and come firing as well. So we know what to expect in that sense, and uh, hopefully, like I say, that the, those tactics that you spoke about, that behaviour, uh, won't be on show on Sunday. And if it is on show, then hopefully it'll be um, you know it'll be officiated and, and it'll be clamped out. Have you made any changes to the team for this weekend? Uh, I know it was a bruising encounter up in London, there was a big battle in the middle and there was a, a few uh, bruised bodies, should we say, after the game? Yeah, well, you know, you've got to you know, account for that after this week we've got three games in eight days as well. Which at seven professional level is going to be tough. It's tough at, you know, Super League level. So for lads working as well, so anyone who was 50-50, you know, this week and, you know, and next week we, we, were, we were looking at you know what was available and what was available from Warren. So we've been fortunate. Um, in Ga Gavin, um, high ankle sprain. He won't make it this week. Ben Union. He's played every game. He's played well. So it'd be a big miss for us. But we're fortunate in the fact that Danny Bridge is back available. Um, John O. Smith, probably 50-50 at this stage. He's, he's been ill all week. Um, he managed to train yesterday. So we've got to get a check on him over the weekend. Um, we got Andre Cervelio available uh, for Warrington. He trained with us last night, so he, he's, he's a chance he might play for us. And you know we're a little bit bare, bare at the minute with, in terms of Jack Holmes. He's, he's, he's injured, and um, obviously Cookson um, leaving us, and, and Ratu's not fit yet. So we are, you know, we are, you know, the 17 who are playing, or the 18 available this week is, is what we've got basically. And with, with the Easter schedule in mind, um, we need to we need to be smart with, with what we do and how we. Uh, we rehab and, and look after plays in the week. You've had a couple of games away from home and you're returning back here on Sunday and, and your home form's slipped off a bit. You, you had that brilliant performance against Shrewsbury and you, you've not reached those heights in front of your own supporters yet. Is that something that you're looking to do to, to put a positive performance in in front of your home support? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I think we've performed well. Um, Dewsbury and Hull KR. Okay, our games, all of the other elements of that game we were disappointed with. Halifax were a little bit flat, and the Oldham game was a, you know, a ding dong derby, and it was a great comeback. And we got some momentum on the back of that. And you know, one thing we do need to do is, is, is so, you know, be good at home. And, you know, a lot of teams in this league are, and you know, the team we're playing on the weekend have a, has a huge advantage when they play at home. And, and you could argue so does London and Featherstone, all okay, KR, they have, they have big crowds. So we've got to make sure we're good at home. And, and, Repay some of that support and put performance on for that. You know the away support's been fantastic in the last couple of weeks at York, where we were disappointing. Uh, there was a you know a good group of Hornets fans at, at London on the weekend as well. So hopefully we'll have a good home crowd. Crowds have been good this year, and, and we'll put performance on for them. And um, you know we can make this place a fortress, which it was last season, and, and we need to get back to that and, and get back to some home form. Cheers on.